it's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget to click subscribe. Hello and welcome back and thank you very much for joining me in I just broke my paintbrush. <laughs> thank you very much for joining me in the studio today. Okay, so um, what I've got planned is to do a series of um, premiere videos for you. So I'm not live, but I am live down in the comments. So I am watching this with you. Uh, oh, I will be watching this with you, I should say. I am watching this with you. That's Welsh. See you. <laughs> so I will be watching this with you and I'm down there in the comments so if you've got any questions that you'd like answered then just feel free to type them in and I shall respond now I'm having loads and loads of comments every single day and I'm finding it very difficult to uh, answer these um, by text so I'm going to be doing um, the odd um, catch-up questions and, and answers answers and questions it depends where in wales you live <laughs> or the world so what i'm going to do today is cover something that is being requested a lot and uh, that is a color wheel now not everybody knows how to use a color wheel and i've done this subject before but not in this particular way and i thought it would be interesting to bring this to you um, especially now because um, I'm sure that you're all progressing very well and you're doing your own things fantastic artwork that I've seen on Facebook and people have been emailing me um, so I said let's just cover a couple of the basics for you so I'm gonna pick up a camera I got a little camera in my hand there you go I've got this one of these little video cameras so I'm gonna be using I'm gonna switch the camera over and let's have a look, a look at uh, the color wheel okay so it's it's a circular thing and it's got all colors on it so we got primary colors now these are the colors and if you're not sure have a read of, of this thing because all the information you need is on there it's all there look Color definitions, primary colors, which are red, yellow, blue, and they cannot be, be mixed from any of the colors because they're primaries. So we got a red, a yellow, and a blue. So red, yellow, and blue cannot be mixed from any other color. So it's important what red we have, what yellow we have, and what blue we have. I'll be discussing this on um, the next section because I've done this before so I've, I've thrown another video in there but stay with me and don't forget to click the subscribe button and um, and don't forget to uh, click the notification bells um, so you'll get notified every single week that I upload because I'm gonna start uploading at least twice a week now just uh, just for you um, I think that's important. I'm going to be talking about memberships as well, but we'll we'll discuss that on a on another video. So let's get back to the color wheel. Um, secondary colors. Now these are two primary colors mixed together, resulting in orange, green, and violet. In other words, if you're mixing uh, red and yellow together, you're going to get an orange. Secondary color. You mix a blue and a yellow. As you should know, you'll get a green. And if we mix red and blue together, we're going to get a violet or a purple. Now, the, as I said, it all depends on the reds, yellows, and blues you use, which are going to give you different combinations of colors. Um, the simple reason I say that is um, some blues are more on the green side, and you get some yellows. Uh, which are very very blue now an ultramarine blue can be green biased or red biased so it's important what blues we use now i do sell um, primary colors on the website www.cli5art.com 
www.ghostbusters.co.uk and over the years my reds yellows and blues um, I've changed but I've got a fantastic primary set now that I know work really well um, but yeah red yellow and blue basically so tetri colors uh, intermediate colors one primary and one secondary color mixed together so you've got a primary color and a secondary color mixed together so they become tetri color so you've got a yellow orange a red orange a red violet blue violet blue green aggressive and warm colors are reds oranges and yellows and receding colors or cooling colors are greens blues and violets so you can have warm colors and cool colors that represents the differences in the mixes you can see sometimes on some of the videos that i've done over the years i've struggled with purples it's like we all have that's because I was using um, a blue that had, uh, it was tended to be a bit more on the green side, so it was dull in itself. We won't go into that too much at the moment because that's for a, another video. So reading your color wheel here, you can turn this little wheel about. So if you add red, to red violet you'll see the color in that box if you add red to orange you'll see the color oops in that box in the format if you add red to um, yellow if you add red to yellow red to green red to um, green again red to blue green red to blue red to blue violet so basically by adding red and you turn this around like that you'll see in this little box what color you're going to get and it's the same with the yellow so if you wanted to add yellow to green you turn that around and there's the green approximate green you'll have again with blue again if you add white to red you'll see in that box you're going to get a pink and if you add black to red you'll get that color spins around and that's what those little gaps are it's quite easy quite self-explanatory really if you look at it closely and read it if you like me you can read instructions get up and have a go so we've also got oops we've also got blues, which is another name for a color a tint which is a color plus white a tone which is a color plus gray a shade is a color plus black your key color the dominant color in any color scheme or mixture a neutral gray is a combination of blacks and whites an intensity or chroma the brightness or dullness of a color and a value means the lightness or darkness of a color and on the side here you can see our gray scale so we've got a hundred percent black there and by adding different values of white you'll find it all go down to a very very light gray even that's basically the front of the color wheel explained um there is a back of a color wheel as well which i'm trying to to show you here and we'll go through that i think um on another lesson properly but it's this is all goes down and goes and explains to you let me switch my camera this explains to you again about split complementaries triad complement but tetriad complementaries which means if you're trying to mix something in, in a color scheme of that color of that color of that color and of that color work really well but split complementary we're using like a blue green 
you can use the oranges there and you can use the reds there which will sit really really well in your color scheme and again how to use the color wheel it tells you everything you need to know but we'll talk about this part of the color wheel on another video so i want to thank you because i'm presuming that you've given a lot of questions and i'm answering them because i'm typing away on my phone aren't you clive i thought you was <laughs> So I just want to go cut across now very quickly to um, a video that I did and this is available in its full form if you want to click into the iCards there all my colour theory videos will pop up but I thought it would be nice if we could do this because it gives you the opportunity to opportunity we'll say that again let's have a drink It gives you the opportunity to ask me questions directly, especially on a premiere like this. So without further ado, let's go across to me in the studio. Okay, so the reds we've actually got are cr uh, Crimson Red, Pyramid Residual Crimson, and Process Magenta. Now you can see the difference in those already. You know, there's a little bit more orange in that one, and there's a little bit darker. The Crimson is a, a lot darker than the Cadmium. And then the yellows, um, this is uh, a cardinum yellow medium hue, um, a cardinum yellow deep, and a lemon yellow. And you can see the difference there as well. So this is all going to reflect. So imagine mixing that one with that one. You're going to get a different effect as if you mix that one with that one, or that one with that one. So this is what I mean. It is get, gets a little bit complicated if you're mixing and changing all your primaries. Um, ultramarine blue. You've got um, a Prussian blue and uh, a cellulon blue again you can see the difference there now so basically uh can you see my mouse yes you can the ultramarine blue can be biased to the red or biased to the green so this is a very difficult blue to manipulate if you want to make a purple because if it's a green bias it's going to neutralize the red because red and green um, dechromerizes each other, each other or dulls the color back. Now I like using ultramarine blue as a base, not as a primary. Um, again, uh, Prussian blue tends to be um, a quite a dark black color, and it depends what um, black that it was actually mixed with because you can use black and ultramarine blue to give you a prussian blue or you can buy it in the tube but if you use a mars black which is a blue black with an ultramarine blue red um biased then you should be okay but i'm not gonna i, I can't uh, try to confuse you you <laughs> i'm confusing myself um cerulean blue it tends to be a green blue so if you mix cerulean blue with um, a red it's going to dull it back it's going to dechromerize it you're going to have a, a very dirty looking purple just to give you an idea so what i've done over the years to make it simple is i've developed a, a very good um, primary red a very good primary yellow and a very good primary blue not when i made this particular video that i'm talking about at the moment with these colors this come later on so uh because this this was made a few years ago but i've got those standardized primary colors now which are available at www.cly5heart.co.uk so if you want to pop along buy a few tubes then um, and give them a whirl you shouldn't have many problems um but a disclaimer if you do it's not my fault <laughs> now using the color wheel um and over a period of time all i did is i simply um painted as many of the reds as i could get my hands on yellows and blues and then i was going through and i was trying to see which one would suit me best as far as the primary colors are concerned 
and the what I come up with is um, quite simply my personal choice and that is um, cadmium red hue as I said this is not my choice now at the time it was I love YouTube everything is relative so at the time that was my choice and I you could see I was using uh, Galleria paints then now I mix my own because I'm a proper artist <laughs> you don't need to mix your own paints but um, I it's just something I love to do and I've produced my own line of colors as well so as I, as I said pop along have a look you know, it doesn't cost anything to look at. Anyway, let's let's listen to the fat version of me talking. Because I have I have lost a lot of weight since then. <laughs> yes, a hue is a reflection on the name itself. It's just it's just refers to the particular colour. So it's it's a red hue right throughout that range. It's a red hue. So um, anyway, that's a cadmium red. <clears throat> Again, cadmium yellow medium and an ultramarine blue now those are my primary colors and every color mixes i mix as you can see behind me um, always incorporate those as my primaries yes clive but you did find out that the ultramarine blue started giving you problems you know be honest Back in the day when you made this video, you didn't know that. But hindsight's a wonderful thing, and I'm about five years older now. <laughs> I'm a lot thinner. And yeah, I use a primary blue. I don't use ultramarine blue anymore uh, for the reasons I mentioned being um, it can be biased on two, 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 two areas, you know, green or, or blue. So, a uh, green or red, sorry. And um, yeah, I've, I've I've changed that now. So this is old news. This is false news. Now you can find blues that are called a primary blue, but they're not that easy to get your hands on. So what I suggest you do is go to the store, find out which ones suit you the best. Or go to www.clive5art.co.uk and pick up some primary colours now. Personally, I recommend these, but uh, that's that's my preference. And then, um, and then do all your colour mixes from that. It's as simple as that. So, yeah, as far as you're concerned, there's your primary colours, which is a primary red, a primary yellow, and a primary blue, or a cadmium red, a cadmium yellow medium, and an ultramarine. That is a primary selection. But mixing an orange is quite easy. Now, what I tend to do is I'll always add the lightest colour first and the darkest colour to it because I can increase the darkness or the tone of that particular colour um, but if you try and make an orange and you put red down then you add yellow to it you've got to put so much yellow to it to get the orange you want you're going to end up with a big clump of paint so personally I'll start with a small amount of the lightest colour and then I'm just going to go in get a touch of red and I'm just going to mix that with a brush and then that's your secondary colour, orange. And if you want to add a little bit more red, you can do that if you want to darken it a touch. Until you get that orange you were looking for. I know a cadmium orange is quite red, so but that'll be fine. I'll take the excess off my brush and then we'll go and place that into our colour wheel. What I would say is paint a colour wheel because if you do you will learn and there's nothing like doing something to learn even if you make mistakes. This is what my channel is all about. Painting, having a go, putting yourself out there. Who cares what it looks like like I've said before. It's you having a go. And the more you paint, the better you improve. And when you're doing things like this, you will learn so, so much. So mixing a primary red and a primary yellow, we're going to get a secondary 
orange one. Okay, so we got the green, um, and that goes in this segment here. So that's mixing the blue, the ultramarine blue, and the card yellow medium together, and that's our green. Hey, we've done it right this time. These things happen. Um, I, you know, at the end of the day, we are all human beings, and mistakes can be adjusted pretty quickly with acrylics. So that's a good thing about acrylics. So mix in blue and yellow we get a nice green. Now what we're going to do now is mix um, the red and the blue to get a violet. So now I think I'm going to struggle by here because I'm using an ultramarine blue and it's a green biased and I'm going to try and make a purple but what I didn't know was it was a green biased <laughs> so therefore it was going to dechromerize itself and I'm going, what have I done? <laughs> I'm on, I'm on a video. <laughs> Let's have a look. So this time I'm going to start with the red. And I'm just going to add a touch of blue to that. You watch and I'm expecting how that this to be quite a dark violet anyway. You tell him, Clive. Don't let on that you know what you've done wrong. <laughs> I always have difficulty um, mixing purple or violet with ultramarine because ultramarine is quite a dark colour and I don't no, want this not. to go too it's dark. It's green bias, Clive. Tell him the it truth. It's to be more on the red side. And I think I'll be alright with that. It's, it does look a bit dark. <laughs> and we put that in place and make sure it's in the right position this time, Clive. It's fun watching yourself back. I tell you, there's another tip for you. Have a look at back at some of your old paintings that you did maybe last year or the year before that or even a few years ago. And have a go, wow! I, how, how did I... Did I do that? That's awful. Oh, that's really good. How can't I redo that again? Try painting them again. Trust me. Try them. Because you'd be surprised how easy that you can improve by looking back at something you've previously done or even remember something that you've done that you forgot about that's not easy for me to say to have water with that no I don't mix many um violets or purples with well I don't use many of them at all to be quite honest with you and if I was going to use this I would lighten it a little bit with some white anyway because it's very rare that I'll use a dark violet but I mean you can see the violet in that now because the blue is dark then obviously it's going to affect the colours as I said the colours are dechromerized. again I'm going to reiterate because the ultramarine blue is a green biased, it's going to desaturate or dechromerize the red. So if you want to make a, a dull red, add a little bit of green to it. And add r green, add red to the green, because you'll dull the green. And that's how it works. So be very careful when you're picking blues and trying to make purples. That's all I'm trying to say. And um, mistakes happen. And, well, I'm just trying to cover my own tracks now. <laughs> so our primary colours are red, yellow and blue. And by mixing red and yellow together, we're going to get an orange. And again, yellow and blue. We're going to get a green and blue and red. We're going to get a violet or purple. Secondary colours.
and these are primary colours. Now a tetri colour is a colour that's mixed with two adjacent colours and in this case a red and an orange mixed together will give us a red orange that's a tetri colour and then the orange and the yellow would give us a yellow orange yellow and green, yellow green, blue green, blue violet, red violet etc. So they called tetri colours. So two colours on the colour wheel adjacent to each other mixed together is a tetri colour. Looking at this particular, we got the orange so if we mix more red to a part of that orange so we mix in red to orange and that's going to give us a rice red orange and by mixing more yellow to the orange so just get a bit of yellow and mix that into the orange we got there which is another tetri colour which is going to give us a yellow orange so already you've started the mix colours which is cool And again, going round the colour wheel, so if we add a little bit more blue to the green, we're going to get a blue-green, which is this one. So we've got basically a green more towards the blue side of the scale there. And please, the same please, principle, please. adding more yellow to the green then. Have a go. Paint your colour wheel. It's going to give us a yellow green. Try mixing some colours, even simple ones. You'd be surprised. And Only subsequently adding more red to the violet. That's going to give colours. us a red violet. Make any colour that you can think of. And more blue to the violet is going to give us a blue violet or a violet that's mainly towards the blue spectrum itself so there's a lot more blue in this violet than there is any other colour which is red in this case So our tetri colours are red orange, yellow orange, yellow green, blue green, blue violet and red violet. So we've covered three major things on this colour wheel. If you mix it a primary colour, say a red and a yellow, you're going to get an orange. If you mix in a yellow and a blue, you're going to get a green. If you mix blue and a red, you're going to get a violet. Now, those colours you mix by adding two primaries are your secondary colours. So you're going to have red, orange, yellow, green, blue and violet on a scale. Now, if you add um, a red and an orange together, which are going to be tetri, that means they're adjacent on the colour wheel, and then you'll get a red orange and um, an orange and a yellow you get a yellow orange etc 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 so they're going to be your tetri colors and that is it in its simplest form as far as that is concerned now a hue is just another name for a color that's red hue that's a yellow orange hue that's an orange hue yellow orange hue yellow etc 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 so there's your color wheel and that's split down into primaries, secondaries and tetri colours. So, get yourself a red, a blue and a yellow, preferably bought from www.cly5art.co.uk Primary colours. <laughs> or experiment, obviously. I do jokes sometimes. 
But once you've done that, this is a simple way to play with mixing an easy, simple color wheel. Have a go. You get your yellow, you bring your red down, and you mix in the red and the yellow together, which is going to give you an orange. How easy is that? And you've got your Tetris as well. So you will spectrum. So wash your brush, bring the yellow down, bring a little bit of that blue up, and you'll see it going blue, green, blue, green, blue, green, 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 yellow, green, yellow, green, yellow, green. <laughs> there you go. That was easy. Okay, so let's do the purples. There's your blue. Bring a bit of red down. And you're making a red violet, a violet, and then mixing and mixing, 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 and you're going to get a nice blue violet. And there you go. A very simple, quick, simple, easy, I should say myself, very simple, <laughs> color wheel. Give it a try. Have a go. Don't leave it till tomorrow. Do it now. I always say that. So let's have a look at the comments. Yes, there's loads of comments coming in. Thank you very much. Um, I hope I've answered your questions. So if you want to see another one of these, don't forget to click that subscribe button and the notification bell. Go onto your phone. Make sure you the settings are accepting all notifications for the YouTube. I'm going to upload twice a week from now on. I'm going to do premieres and I'm going to do little paint paintings. I'm going to start doing larger canvases as well now. So keep in um, touch. Don't forget to comment. If I don't answer all the comments when you type them in on YouTube, I do. For please forgive me. But I get hundreds and hundreds, hundreds a week. And it's, I'm finding it very difficult to um, catch up. So what I'm going to be doing is um, a quick video, maybe once a fortnight or something, just to go through some questions and answer them directly. There we are. I'll give you a shout out as well. So thank you very much for joining me in the studio. My name is Clive from Clive's Five Art. I will see you shortly on another video. Bye. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget to click subscribe.